Good evening. I'm Annie. And I'm Emma. Welcome to Buddy at Night. Where we take a behind-the-scenes look at how Buddy was made. For Buddy's shirt, we draped it over his finished body pod to make sure we could accommodate his unique shape. We added gussets and faked the plackets and cuffs in order to make him always look dressed and ready to go. In order to cover all of the layers underneath smoothly, we flatlined the shirting with medium weight muslin. This gave it the weight to match his scale. Buddy's pants were draped over his body pod. Normally pants are made up of four large pieces, but because of his exaggerated shape, we had to add seams to get the pants to fit the body properly. It took about four versions to get the pattern right. The pants have a loose hanging lining to provide better movement around the leg, and also to protect the inner seaming of the pants. We also created ankles so that as the pants lifted with each step the actor's ankle wouldn't be visible. These were the foam from the body pod cut in an 8 inch strip that was glued in a circle. It was then covered with pieces of an argyle sweater so that it looked like he was wearing socks for his larger than life shoes. The suspenders were custom made for Betty. We patterned leather pieces for the loop attachments, bought ribbon, and painted it to the right color for the straps, and attached them to the pants with buttons, just like real suspenders. We used barrettes to create the sliders because the suspenders needed to be larger than average. The final piece was an oversized tie. We took an existing tie pattern and enlarged it 250% and exaggerated the width. It was finished traditionally and then rigged onto the shirt so that it snaps on under his collar. And that's how Buddy gets dressed.